We got this pretty sweet turntable right here. $13.99. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day six of 30 Days of Goodwill. So last week, I actually took the week off because one, it was Thanksgiving, and uh, two, I was super freaking busy with Badger Fest collectibles. So crazy week, but anyway, we're gonna continue day six. So let's go inside and see what goodness we can find. Found this nice. There's a dino. Is that an Imperial? Little. I thought this would just be fun to have, man. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Like, why not? It's on the Star Wars dartboard right here. It is 549. So I'm going to check this out. Did see this Pikachu. So, yeah. How much is this guy? $1.19? I'll probably do that. For sure. It's a pretty big Woody. Looks like he's been uh, eating a little bit. But still cool. All right, so we found this sealed minute delivery, five minute delivery for three bucks. I don't see any comps on it, but people have it listed for 40. So I think we wanna pull the trigger on that. All right guys, so for day six, not too much there, but I found this Wicked Cool Toys Pikachu for $1. So not bad, I think it will sell for like seven or eight. So nothing too crazy. And then, got this Disney Pixar's Woody and he's about the same. So, so sells for like six to seven bucks and got him for a dollar. So we'll see what happens. Biggest deal of the day though was this five minute delivery. It is sealed. I got it for $2.99. Uh, there's no comps on it, but people were asking 40 to 50. So I can probably put it on there for like maybe 30 plus shipping and hopefully sell it. So I spent a total of $8. So not too bad. Oh, and I did get this Nintendo shirt. This NES old school shirt for like a dollar. Um, it is a size medium, but there you go. And that could potentially sell for like 12. So we will see. So let's get to day number seven. All right, guys, we are on day number seven. So yesterday's finds weren't all that great, honestly. I already put everything up on eBay. Nothing has sold yet. So uh, that kind of stuff will probably sit for a little while. So little lesson learned for you guys. Like if you grab stuff like that, it's you'll probably sell it, but it's gonna take a bit. So don't get discouraged. But anyway, we're on day number seven. We're gonna go inside and see what they have today. It is 9.17 in the AM. So it's been open for 17 minutes and hopefully there's some some stuff left because usually if you go later in the day i mean yeah they restock during the day but it seems like you can find a lot of better quality stuff in the mornings so let's go inside and check it out so we have a bag of vacuum guns there's some cards in there for five dollars i might have to look into that but usually that kind of stuff uh it doesn't sell too well and then here's some what are these? Like those Legos connects, I think, or connects. And here's a bunch of cars in here. Yeah, it's me. Here is a Toys R Us 2016 Maiden Head Dragon, which is pretty dope. But it is $7, and I think it sells for 20 plus shipping. So this will be a maybe. And then I found these little guys here. I don't know. Me. And we're back. Not too much today. But I did go ahead and pick up that bag of Bakugan. So I looked them up. And a lot of these uh, little battle brawlers are going anywhere from 5 to like $25 a piece. That's crazy. I, I totally would not have thought of that. But this was $5.40 something cents. So I think I can definitely get my money back plus plus more. So we'll see how that goes. But during this journey too, I had a friend reach out, fellow YouTuber, 
Sprooch Game Hunting. Check him out. His link will be down in the description below. But he sent me a clip on what he is finding at his local uh, Savers, I believe it is. So check it out. And uh, yeah, sub to his channel. I don't remember if that's a number or not. Smash Bros. Six bucks, but I'll take a Smash Bros. for six bucks. Alright guys, so I'm back at the Narc Lair and I wanted to quickly show you what was in that bag of Bakugan? So this is a complete Dragonoid, I believe is the correct term for it. But uh, it came with the paperwork. It came with all of the, uh, all five cards and the Bakugan ball, if I can get that. But yeah, this guy is actually selling for like $40 and this is complete. Plus I still have all of these to go through so that is pretty sweet that is a definite win yeah guys check out back you guys if you see them you never know all right guys we are on day number eight of 30 days of goodwill and as you saw yesterday i picked up that five dollar bag of the back you figures i got them all out and i have one complete freaking dragon it sells for forty dollars here's a little little uh sale right there <laughs> got the wife with me she doesn't want to be on camera though <laughs> because she's like i don't want to be on camera i don't want to do it um but anyway i'm gonna go inside and see what they got hopefully they got some good stuff today i see you pointing at me I, mean, I see my arch nemesis there in the parking lot already tool man is here the shoe guy is here you know making friends getting discounts i got this pretty sweet turntable right here And then I found this boxed Mad Cat's PlayStation Will and pedal set for $15.99. Let's check this out. Let's see how it looks. It looks like it is all there. And we're back. So Day eight is in the books. I ended up picking up that steering column, that PlayStation, for the PlayStation 2, it says actually. And it was $15.99. So a pretty good deal. It sells between $40 and $50. But what's really cool is that I had a $10 coupon that I've been holding in my pocket. So I applied it today and it came out to be $6. So all week I spent a total of $20 and with everything that I have currently posted and uh, going to be posted, I'm expecting to make a profit of $115 to $120. So it's been a, uh, it's kind of a short week. It's only three days. So next week I'm gonna give you all five days and we're gonna do this thing all the way to 30. 30 days of goodwill it is. So I'm really hoping that you guys are enjoying this. I, I love doing this kind of stuff. It, these were kind of my favorite kind of videos to do. Um, so we'll see what happens after this, after these 30 days to see if I pick it back up, continue or whatever. You guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'm getting some pretty positive feedback. So I am super happy that you guys are enjoying it. As you notice, I had Sprooch Retro Hunting on. He sent me a clip. So check out his channel. And guys, if you have a clip, if you're a hunter and you want to send me a clip, uh, I can throw you on the show and, you know, everybody can see your finds. I would love to do that. So let me know. Not another retro channel at gmail.com. Send me an email or shoot me a message on Instagram or Facebook, any of that kind of stuff. So next we're going to go to the North Dallas Toy Show uh, is tomorrow in Addison, Texas. It's usually a pretty good show in December. So we'll see what happens there and hopefully we'll get some good pickups. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the flip flop. Peace.